Tony here at Lockarts. We're going to just show you a, a quick little overview of the new P-Drive clutch on the 850G4 sleds. Uh, some people are asking about uh, setup. They have clickers just like the old TRA clutches on all the old sleds, but they're a little bit different. So we're just going to open the door and uh, we're going to lift it off forward like this, set it down over here, and uh, it takes your belt tool. That's how you adjust your P-Drive clickers. So that's what you'll need. Okay, so we've got our belt tool. This is used for, you know, putting it in, tighten it up to uh, release the secondary clutch to take the belt off. And the opposite side has a Torx and it also has this little Allen set screw. So what you do to adjust your clickers, you get to this big gold weight. It's actually a bolt, but it's the, the weight for the clutch. And you roll the clutch this direction, you can see a two, you can see a notch in the middle, which is a three, and the next number is a four. So just like you would before, all you do is you loosen this off a few turns, turn and turn and turn like that until you can actually rotate this clicker. Once it comes far enough, you rotate the clicker to four or three or two or whichever direction you go, and you just tighten it back up. So the key here is, 850s you want them to rev between 7950 and 8050. Um, 800 E-Techs are like strictly 7900 you wanted to keep them below but these things have boost injectors so they're not nearly as uh, susceptible to uh, over revving or having a problem with the injectors at, at high RPM so 7950 to 8050 if you're over that you want to click her down which would be a lower number to say two Generally, they come on three. If you're running 7,800 and it's kind of warm out or you get a little lower on power or whichever, then you want to click up to number four. So easy as pie. I'm going to click this back to three where I got it from. Make sure that you do all three at the same time. Otherwise, you're going to run into some weird, probably clutching issues and uh, the thing not working properly. So you just make sure you torque these bolts back up. Um, to a good tension with your fingers and uh, you'll have your clickers adjusted. Put some good weight on it. It's a strong bolt, so don't worry about over torquing. Again, two, three, there's three of them. So make sure they're all the same. All right, this is Tony from Lockarts. Uh, thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for further tech tips from the mechanics here at Lockarts Odyssey.